Good evening, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Medieval 2. No, it's not Medieval 2. What am I talking about? Welcome to Medieval 1100 AD. My name is Savas. We're playing as the Kingdom of Scotland, and we are being attacked by a army of the Norse Expedition. Uh, we should, in theory, be able to defeat this, but we're going to find out. We have lost at the Battle of York before in a siege defence where I had relatively strong hopes of winning. Um, so I'm hoping to dispel my fears this time around. So let's let's see how this goes. We've got all of our units have got um, upgrades this time. I don't remember if we had upgrades the first time we fought here in the defensive siege where we lost, but I don't remember. But uh, we do have weapon and armor upgrades this time around. So hopefully that is going to be the difference between victory and defeat. All right, without delaying too much, let's jump in. Welcome back to York for possibly the third or fourth time in this campaign. The enemy have five siege towers that they're launching ahead of the rest of their army. Their army is basically entirely uh, melee infantry. These uh, Duguth swordsman units. Um, they are relatively decent swordsmen. I think they are going to be better, <coughs> better than my own swordsmen. But all their towers are going to be probably attacking around here. So, we are going to do a very similar tactic to what we've done before in this, lo in this location. We are going to deploy our Highland Archers in a nice elevated position here. We're going to have our regular Archers, our Light Archers. Uh, I'm going to think about putting them down here. And here, maybe? There we go. So there's all my archers in position ready to defend those walls. Now then, we need to protect the gateway at all costs, as well as defend ourselves in this little choke point here. So I'm going to deploy my light spearmen on the ground here. protect this choke point there. We're going to have my heavier spearmen defending this point here. We are going... I know we're doing spearmen against swords, but my archers are going to be providing all this cover in this area, so that should hopefully counteract that. And then we're going to have our swordsmen on the ground here. Along with my general to defend. And we're going to have maybe a skirmish unit here. Gotcha. And maybe one of them up here. Yeah, why not? Let's see how that goes. Right, so. I'm actually going to make my swordsman group two. I'm going to have my spearmen as group one because they are the larger detachment of the two. There we go. Right. Let's go. There are worse places for battle than defending these walls. Let our foes wear themselves out. Let them dash themselves to pieces. Let's fast forward a little bit here. <coughs> Got to wait for these. Danes or Norsemen to actually speed up. <laughs> I'm going to be getting into range of my towers in a minute. There we go. Towers are now opening fire. They're not going to do much, to be honest. Although my Highland Archers can do flaming arrows. Bands of power is apparently 50-50. I'm hoping to get it significantly in our favour with our with the use of our archers. So let's just zoom in here and watch. Watch these Danesmen jump off their tower. Oh, 
I love the animations of them jumping off. It's just such an unnatural jump. <laughs> but it's so cool to watch. They are quite cool looking, I have to say. I do, I do admit to that. They are quite cool looking units. I should probably stop admiring the enemy now, though. And let's actually focus on shooting them. <laughs> um... Take fire on them. You shoot each of these. Arrows away. No casualties. That's a shame. Oh, actually, we killed six. That shoot that unit down there. Ah, no shoot both of them. All hold your ground. Not exactly taking out very many of them, I have to admit. Get back into position. So now the rest of their army is piling up onto... into the gateway area, as well as down to the tower area. Right, are you guys able to just throw your javelins from there? Yep. Javelins away! Lovely. Shoot down into these swordsmen whilst they're trying to ransack my spearmen. They are actually doing a huge amount of damage. They are losing decisively, my spearmen. Unfortunately, my Highland archers don't seem to be able to do too much there to stop them. The enemy have taken a tower, right? You guys hold fire. Hold fire. Right. Highland archers. Uh, I'm going to take one of you back here. Let's bring these. Move you across. Javelins get over here. Skirmishers, sorry. Throw up onto this onto the wall up there. Just get some javelins down. We've broken one sword unit. That's all we've managed to do so far. We've actually because we've been, we've actually told them to attack them. We're actually our numbers are actually doing a lot of damage here to this sword unit, which is great. Uh, you guys, basically, I just want you guys to fire at will. running out of ammunition. Let's hold fire for a second. Shoot there, maybe. You guys throw down into there. Swordsmen here are going to have a real hard time. I need to get some archers behind them. So let's get some... Let's take one of my archers round. Shoot those javelins there, please. Actually, no, Captain, stay out of the fight for now. I want to get you guys up there, please. Wait, are those javelins running around past me? Or are they coming up? They're coming up. They're coming up. Okay, cool. Right. Uh, these archers. Ooh, 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 I'm going to need all sorts of support from you, I think. Right, you skirmishers come around here. 
My spearmen. I think I've lost a spear unit, actually. <laughs> breaking that sword unit yet oh no why are you wavering shoot those javelins shoot the javelin shoot the javelin captain get in there captain get in there oh my highland archers just got wrecked by those javelins back there as well that's not great right you guys fire down into the pile. We are going to lose this, I think. I think we are going to lose this. Can you shoot that javelin unit, please? Just all our, all arrows up there. All arrows up there now. Because they are wrecking my morale. Oh, some of my swordsmen are broken. No, those Saxon javelins... Take them out, damn it. Archers, you're supposed to be better than this. <laughs> my, my Highland archers are normally a lot better than this. Oh, yeah, we, we, yeah we've yeah, we lost this already. I could already tell. Morale has broken so much. There was no way I was going to hold this off, was there? Oh, no. We've lost York for the second time in the series. It's a good thing I had King Edgar on his way over there as well. Oh, yeah, everybody's breaking. Well, this wasn't even close compared to the last time. They have completely mopped me up. Wow. Those javelins are awful. Yep, all my men are broken. <laughs> Great. Might as well just everybody go in. Oh, we broke this flank. Oh, no, we haven't. I thought we'd broken them. <laughs> no. They've steadied their line. They're holding. Well... Bother. Uh, yeah, we haven't done nearly as much damage as I would have wanted to this enemy army. Haven't done nearly enough. Come on, I'll just hurry up. Oh, you haven't got ammo. Oh, I thought you had some... I thought I was... Oh, I thought you had ammo. Well, run round. Levy units, run round. Let's charge those javelins. Might as well fast forward here, to be honest. Try and slam into the back of these enemy units here. Might as well give it a go. Slam into the back of them. Crash. Yeah, we can't do anything about this. Well, hot diggity dog. The uh, armor and weapon upgrades did not define <laughs> did not define this battle as being the difference between victory and defeat. It was entirely going to be defeat. Well, that's interesting. Okay, we've lost York again. Well, who knows? Maybe they will just sack it and leave. Wiped out two enemy units. I killed off nearly, just shy of a thousand. So I didn't even get half of them. Nope, they conquered it. Great. Great. Thank you so much for all of your work on that one. Nordic Pirates in... Nordic Pirates in York. Oh, it's because they those guys have just landed here. Right, we've landed. We've got our other armies as well, just to cause issues. 
Well, that's annoying. Here we had the British Isles secured, and now we don't. Because of these Norse... Expedi How many more expeditions are there? I would have thought that after the one expedition being absolutely annihilated, maybe they would think, let's uh, not do that again. Trade agreement has been dissolved with everybody. I'm now very unhappy with a lot of people. Apparently. Cultural aversion seems to be the biggest thing. Everybody hates me. That's great. <laughs> Brittany liked me at one point. I don't understand why they now hate me so much. What on earth does cultural aversion do? Oh well. Oh, you actually came out to attack me. Really? Well, I can't do anything about that, can I? That's another... Oh, great. That's a general loss as well. Great. Thank you. Thank you so much. You jackass. <laughs> I will offer absolutely no mercy whatsoever. Well, that's that general loss for no reason. <sighs> okay, right. Take your back. Don't even need to fight that. Unbelievable. Upgrade all my units. Leicester's got a big enough garrison. I'm hoping the six Highland archers... Leicester is the one where the town centre is the target, so I'm hoping my archers will be enough there. But we'll bring the army out anyway into the field to chase them down. Uh, get public order back up again. My spy is at Omeon. Deploy there, thank you. Right. So we have 1500 income per turn now, again, after reclaiming York. You've gone to Leicester. Okay, well, I've got six high end archers. The town centre is normally the target of Leicester, so. Let's hope that my high end archers can wreck this whilst they're too busy trying to take the town centre. Right, so next time if the Norse expedition comes to York and attacks it, what I will probably end up doing is trying to block off the walls whilst my archers are shooting at the enemy, rather than just trying to like pin them down on the ground in the doorway and like have my archers just shoot a clear wall of enemies. Because that the, the missiles clearly just didn't weren't doing enough. So next time it'll be a case of trying to block the walls. Alright, so Spearmen up front, swordsmen behind. So we're going to do the same tactic we've done before. My light spearmen I'm going to put on the flank here. Hold position. I'm going to have my light archers. Let's put you here. What's your range? There? Hmm. Could be better, to be honest, but I'll take it for now. Skirmishers there. So that's group... Four. No, group two. Oh, I have another skirmisher. Alright, Highland archers form up there. Group three. There we go. Right. We're going to see how this turns out. Again, we'll fast forward. They're going to go straight for the town centre and capture that. So we know how the AI works. We know how the Norse people like to operate. They actually sent the general forward as well. He's got 45 out of 60. So he's obviously suffered casualties to my towers at the Battle of York. Um, or he suffered casualties when wiping out my general that was in the field. I didn't think I needed to move him. I thought he had been fine there. I thought maybe... Oh, I don't know. 
Maybe I was just being naive. Right. Get them, any of them. Oh, those archers are in range. Cool. I didn't. I forgot I'd even put them on to fire a will as well. That's it. The battle is turning in our favor. As you Ready. Say. As you say. Uh, enemy throw javelins at that last bit of the cavalry. Cool. Don't tell me the general is the last man alive. Highland archers. Highland archers. Got him. Well, that was the general. They didn't tell me that the general had died, but... Nope, they didn't even tell me his, that he died. Okay, fine. That's how you want to play it. Um, I'm going to wait for them to get into the grounds a little bit more. Firing arrows into the pile. I don't know if we're going to do enough damage here. Fire at will. Maybe like focus on one infantry unit at a time. Something like that. This is even going to work. Arrows are just flying in. Um, their elite javelins are pretty tough. We'll give them that. I'm up over there. My archers are apparently having a bit of a struggle trying to find the right angle to shoot. These guys aren't firing very many arrows. They're actually getting some kills there, though, so that's good. Yeah, just fire at will if you need to you, you, actually, this is a pr pretty good angle, to be fair. Really? All of you shoot that unit there at the back. Shoot the unit in the rear. Just do what you can. There you go. You're breaking a little bit now. Now target the one that's got 100. There we go. Target them one at a time. Archers. Get out! Break off! Right, I want you guys to throw your javelins in there. You're apparently not at an angle to do that. Run, Excuse me, fire into those javelins down at the bottom. It's a bit of an awkward cough, I apologise. There we go, arrows flying in. Lovely, here we go. Now we're actually going to get a victory out of this, I think. Target the 88. Go 
first pull back. Get the javelins firing. You guys fire at will. Iron archers are nearly out of ammo. Three javelins. Knock them out. Knock them out. There we go. The elites are going down. Fantastic. There we go. A few more kills there at the back. Infantry, you can just get out of the way. Oh, there we go. End battle. Lovely. Well, some heavier casualties, but uh, the garrison of Leicester were able to defeat the Nordic force where where um, our garrison at York failed, so that's good. And there we go. That actually annihilated that army too. Brilliant stuff. All right. Uh, I'm going to execute them. I don't want any prisoners. I want this to be a lesson. <laughs> I thought the last time was going to be a lesson, but clearly not. Trade agreements with the Duchy of Brittany. Oh, now they want trade again. Okay. Well, you now, you're now happy with me again? Norse expedition have been wiped out. They'll be back again. They'll be back again. Right. So that's all sorted. Uh, right. I now need to start really sort of rebuilding things. They, I think they demolished something here in York. Or, did, or am I just making that up? Maybe not. Uh, temporary barracks unlocks heavy spear and British armoured swordsman. I want to do that in London. So maybe a light infantry camp in York would be better. It gives us a bit of a better garrison there. Alright, let's pop into Wales. Let's see if we can sort of try and Sort out this public order. It's down to minus three, so that's a start. Um, let's build that as well, get the public order sort of improved a little bit further. Um, so upkeep's been reduced, which means tax rates reduced as well. In theory, that should make people slightly happier because of tax rates being reduced. So I could improve wealth from commerce now that we're getting some trade. 60% uh, wealth from culture. Okay. I'm supposed to go for that, actually. Try and just unlock a few more buildings along the way. Um, right, so we have trade with Brittany. They condemn war with France, the cultural aversion, and expansionism. Speak ill or slowly, and I may feed your tongue to the dog. Still have the whole diplomacy issue. Whatever glitch that is that's doing that. Okay. Um. No other nobles. <laughs> Everard is 14 years old. He'll soon be... He'll soon become of age. Reginald... Reinhold... So he does increased upkeep costs for mercenary units, but minus two upkeep costs for all land units. Hmm... 9% upkeep costs for army only as well. So actually that goes up to minus 11% upkeep. Doesn't have any public order benefits. He is this guy as well. Hmm. He could be a good replacement. The alternative is that I use one of these other nobles instead. Military building construction costs or just construction costs. Um, we hunger for oh, 
My income. No. Ouch. My poor income. Reinstating the legacy <laughs> knocked out my economy. Oh dear. Maybe maybe I shouldn't have a second army at this point. Hmm. Oh dear. Why is orthodox increasing? It doesn't tell me why. <laughs> it just tells me there's an there's two influence. Local traditions, two plus two influence. What local traditions are you talking about? That's Catholic influence. That doesn't give any influence. I don't understand what local influence means. You don't give any influence at all in any culture. So what what does it mean by local influence? What is influencing the local culture to become more Catholic, uh, more orthodox? It does not make sense. I might actually have to disband this army because of my income already. Um, yeah, sorry. I'm going to have to disband you already. King's just chilling out in Wales for the moment. So where is the kingdom? Like, how big is the kingdom of France? All around here. Okay. I don't want peace. Speak. I will listen. I can't offer anything. I can offer peace, and that's it. That's very, very frustrating. Oh, wait, no, I'm being stupid. I think I might be being stupid. You guys have probably mentioned it in the comments of the last episode when I brought up. I think the reason why I can't offer things is because I don't have a border with them. It's part of a diplomatic update from the last time. I'm being so ridiculous. I apologise if you were telling me off last time and if, I, if you've told me off in this episode so far. I apologise. I think it's because I don't share a border with them. So I can't get any kind of diplomacy or anything with people. I don't obviously have a border with the Holy Roman Empire, which is why I can't get trade. That's why. Okay, right. Um, Brittany, I mean, I can, I'm can. i linked. The reason why I think I can get trade and they can offer me trade is because I, I can be linked. But I don't think I would have been able to offer them trade otherwise. Right, okay. I think I think I now, oh, I now understand. Whew, okay. I'm just being stupid. Right. Let's bring the king a bit further south into Wales. We need to uh, get ourselves down to like the south coast, I think, ready to make a move somewhere else. Amiens would be quite nice. 19. The garrison's not at full strength either, and they are suffering attrition, so... My economy is not in the greatest of, of uh, setups at the moment, is it? Not in the greatest of states. Needs to be improved somehow. It's fine. Storage room in Edinburgh. Minus four again. All right, what is the problem? cultural differences. Yes, I can understand the cultural differences. I can't work out why orthodox is increasing. I just can't understand it. Local tradi traditions. So my Catholic influence is, a, is an increase of 1, but a decline of 1.9%. Of I have one influence from local traditions, and they have two from local traditions. It's just, I don't understand. 
I do not understand why. There is nothing here. I don't know. I don't know why it's why orthodox is increasing and I can't seem to stop it. I have nothing but Catholic buildings. Catholic influence doesn't give any influence, doesn't give influence. Catholic influence. No influence, no influence. No influence and no influence. So why? <laughs> I don't, I don't get it. I just don't get it. Is it overseas trade? Is that what's causing the problem? Catholic influence. Catholic influence. Catholic. Nothing. Nothing. So I, as far as I can tell, there is nothing but Catholic influence in my kingdom. So why is Orthodox Christian? Why is Orthodox Christianity increasing so rapidly? I just I don't get it. I just honestly don't get it. I don't know I don't get what local traditions means. Um Perhaps I'm just being stupid. Perhaps there's a really, really obvious reason why. As far as I can tell, there's nothing here regarding orthodox influence in the provincial effects. No, I can't see anything to do with it. I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. I can't, there's nothing I can do about it. So, okay. Um, let's keep bringing the king south, I suppose, for now. But there's not a lot I can do at the moment in terms of like stopping this public order problem that I have at the moment. It just seems to be that the, re the main reason for the public order issue is Orthodox Christianity on the rise and I can't stop it. So if it overtakes Catholicism, I may have to change my kingdom's official uh, religion. Loads of notifications this time. Increased line of sight. Can I recruit any other agents? That's not agents. I don't have the money to do it. So I can get two officials. Could get and one of them as well. So I'd like to get. Um, I mean, you give me cultural comfort, cultural conversion, but you give me public order increase with the bread and games edict, which I believe is the one I'm using. So you would be a great one to have straight away. Plus eleven, minus nine, minus eight. Zero plus two. Okay. Ready for battle. So maybe it'll be worth me. I mean, it's going to go into winter, so this is going to decline even further. So it might be worth me. I don't know. Yeah, just keep heading south. And then I can just sort of straddle you between the borders here for now.
There's not a lot I can do. Until I cross into mainland Europe, I am literally just turn flipping at this moment. We should be about to finish the... Uh... Oh no. Lord of Pirates are heading to me now. Research complete. Pagan Raiders in Oldenburg. Great. Minus three as well. Minus 12. Oh my goodness gracious. This is just... It's just not fun. <laughs> this is not going well. Oh no. Okay. Raiders. That's the Raiders. That's the King as well. And I can't stop the public order issue because of the nine for events cultural differences taxes events what does the... there's no breakdown <laughs> there's no breakdown I don't un... oh god i'm gonna have rebellions i'm gonna have to i'm just gonna have rebellions i'm gonna have to deal with it that is literally all that can be done right now uh okay um Right, minus three, minus 15. I'm gonna have to build one up here in the home provinces. Recruit you. Slow the decline. Go for something to do with siege works. This is becoming a struggle to kind of maintain everything at the moment. There's too much negativity currently in the kingdom. I'm going to have outright rebellion across the British Isles, aren't I? That's, that's, eventually, that's eventually where it's going to get to. I'm going to have outright rebellion across the entirety of the British Isles. And now you're heading south. Right, you've got plus three. You've got plus five. Seven hundred. I don't quite have it. Plus nine, plus five. If I put you in Leicester, plus one gives me a bit of a quicker, quicker um, replenishment bonus. So everybody seems to be a little bit happier this time round. Dutch of Brittany are very happy with me now. Speak plainly, for we are on it. Um, Catholicism is now increasing again. I just don't get it. I just don't get it. I can't understand it. Oh, oh look, Orthodox is now the dominant culture in my home home province. Great. Catholicism is still the dominant one across most of the kingdom, but in the north, it's it's the dominant up here. So that needs to be changed. Goodness gracious. Um. I've just realised if I've got two military buildings here, I don't need one in Edinburgh, but I would like to keep one in Edinburgh. So, uh, do I demolish? I mean, it's going to cost me money to dismantle. That's cost more. Go for the cheaper one because then I, need, I can upgrade the building in Edinburgh at some stage. But get rid of that, and I can get something else that's Catholic. Um, it's just jumping turns. We're just jumping turns right now. See where those pagan raiders go. Now that we're in Leicester, we're at a bit of a fork in the road. So we can head north to York or we can head south to London. Depends on where they go. Okay. They head oh, they've landed in the south. Okay. Jihad to Jerusalem. Nomad raiders. Right. I could intercept them. They have 20 units now. Dorchester has a garrison of 18. Four swords, four spears, four, three light spears. Three archers, two archers, one, two skirmishers. Okay. Right, 
Right, let's head down here. Goose Spearman. They've got some Warhounds in there. I have two Warhounds, so yay to me. I'm a little bit battered, though, my army, so I might try and hold this sort of defensive point of the bridge here. Let's recruit you, because you're going to give my army less of an upkeep issue. 19, great. 15, great. 12, great. Everything seems to be great. <laughs> Not going to complain. Um, minus three to food, zero food, minus five food. So I, yeah, I do need to go more Catholicism here, don't I? Really? I suppose I could go food. I should have plenty of food. All right, Catholic, Catholic Parsons. And then do we have how many more we can get one more of these guys that's another upkeep cost reduction that's cultural conversion that's income tariffs not great not a great selection hmm not a great selection but if i was to recruit a general for at home to have up in the north near york i could then recruit that dignitary that gives upkeep reduction and then put him in the army. At least that would then knock off a little bit of money for how much he costs. Population surplus in Eastern England. York has upgraded. Right, you've expanded. Lovely. Why did I build a small convent in Leicester when I was going to make that my farming town? I'm not quite sure. Um, go for an outskirts. No. Right, go for the Cath go through another Catholic Parsons. We're gonna get a small convent back. We're gonna demolish that eventually. <clears throat> okay, so that army is now raiding, which means that my replenishment has been stalled. Let's take me up to eight hundred and eleven. Yeah. Not too bad. Raiders wiped out. Saracen Pirates wiped out. Everard has now come of age. Food shortage in Scotland. That's not great. Plus one. Minus one. Right, I'm going to have to demolish that now then, aren't I? Better deal with that before I end up suffering too much attrition. All right, here we go. Push them back. I can avoid. I can avoid suffering attrition by going into port here. I think. There we go. Stops me suffering attrition. So now food shortage is down to zero because we're not being raided for the moment. Get rid of that Nordic pirate king next turn. With Everard now coming of age, I could make him my stay-at-home prince. Although I could actually keep my king at home and send my prince over to France. 
That could be a good idea. Could be a good idea. <laughs> oh, you're attacking London. Oh, nice. Got a relatively good garrison in here, which should be more than enough to actually deal with this. But uh, good thing I've got my additional army. All right, let's join in with the fight at London. got a nice winter covered battle today Scouts! this is going to be an awkward one they are attacking me from the side that I attacked London with as well okay so I've got some of my army this isn't all of them 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 17 I'm missing 3 Or is it, oh oh actually no no sorry I'm not missing three they're they're on land already because they're cavalry I'm being silly I apologise again okay so all their towers are going to hit this section of wall probably maybe even this corner piece here what is it that's hitting me spearmen first okay. I might deploy some archers on top. Keep watch. All three swords up here. My archers on the wall are specifically going to be targeting the enemy's archers. Just get knock out some of these bowmen for me. Uh, I'm going to deploy three swordsmen. On this side as well. They will bleed for us. Uh, ah, there he is, Tancred. I was wondering where my general was for this army, for the garrison units. So, we're going to have spearmen. Deployed all around the gateway. We also bur drop burning oil, which is great. And I've got my heavy spears. Tank red over there. My archers. I suppose I'll deploy here. There we go. And then we got my king. Who I'll deploy over there. Right, now, as for my boats. I'm not going to deploy any of them on the beach because I don't want them getting wrecked. So we'll deploy some units there. I'm actually going to... We've got a gateway here, so I'm going to have my... Hmm. I'll have my light units land on the beach. I'll have, like, my... main heavy infantry to land in the town itself. Ready and waiting. Ships. Transport ready and waiting. Just basically queuing everybody up. <laughs> right. I'm going to deploy two there, two there. Two there. Actually, I could do those two over there. And you three in the middle. Cool. So that should be fine. Prepare. 
You archers are going to get hit by this tower, aren't you? Unfortunately. Missile warriors! Trying to knock out their archers as best we can. Now Let me maybe target the general then. Try and target the king a little bit. I don't think this is going to work. <laughs> okay. Right. Uh, let's try and get you off the wall. Let's move all of my swords around as well. There we are. You guys have landed. You guys are here. So I'm going to tell you to aim for the... Uh, hmm. I'll tell you to get aim for... I don't know. Aim for there, maybe. landing. Can you run, please? Be my swordsman in position before these towers arrive. Missiles ready. Right, let's deploy these archers a little bit better. guys to run inside. Have you got your dogs with you or is it just, no it's just you guys on foot. Okay, fine. Move around the side of these ships as they move out the way. Let that ship go ahead of you. Because these are all going to come out around this corner so we'll try and bypass them and go around the outside. Swords being attacked everywhere. Move up. Let's try and move you guys along. Let's get some chosen swords on that side of the wall. You guys in position to really open fire on any enemy troops? Not yet, because our swords are basically trying to deal with them. So. Yeah, our troops are in amongst that crowd, so we can't really do anything about it. Spears, let's bring you to position there. Men are wavering, that's fine. Archers target that unit there. Hopefully we can do enough missile damage to relieve our swordsmen there a little bit. And then a wavering all over the place. Damn. 
And a breaking. Wow, my line is completely broken. <laughs> okay. Thailand archers! Missile infantry. Uh, crossbows, can I get you down here as well, please? That'd be great. War dogs, you can just kind of stay out of the way for now. Bring those two transports up. Wow, they're, they've got spears and axes on the walls that are absolutely wrecking my infantry. This isn't good. Lose! Now they're in a position where they are going to get absolutely owned by my archers. Let's bring these guys around here. position them in places where they'll actually be able to do some good. Highland archers. Missile warrior. Target these axes. Deadly missiles ready. Just basically fire everything into that pile there. I can get my crossbows down here as well. Let's target the enemy general. My poor swordsman. <laughs> my entire garrison is getting absolutely annihilated. Decimating that enemy general. So even though they are probably going to destroy all of my swordsmen on that... Oh, they have, in fact, destroyed all of my swordsmen on that... On that wall. here. Right, armoured swords, you need to stall them as best you can. Just shoot in the back of there. Shoot into the back of the pile now. There we go. Look at those arrows flying. Yeah, we've lost so many garrison men. In for the enemy general. Thankfully, my crossbows have loads of ammo, so. And we're shooting into the back of the enemy. Oh, look at them dropping like flies at the back here. Oh, yeah, that's it. Oh, my God.
<laughs> but they're falling down like flies. Still got Nordic bowmen outside. They've got some war dogs outside as well. So many swordsmen got wiped out. units are actually blended together which is why they haven't been using up as much ammunition losing some of my crossbows to the Nordic Bowman, but that's fine. <coughs> this is more important. More important. I actually want to charge out. <laughs> All my spearmen go. Uh, cavalry. Go out that way. Oh well, I can't go that way because I haven't got, I haven't got control of the gate, have I? I need control of the gate first. As soon as we've got control of the gate, we'll send my spearmen out. Start engaging that cavalry. Great, I've lost it again. How? How have I lost it again? Warhounds climbing the tower. Oh, the dogs. Where are the dogs going? Are they just leaving? <laughs> I think they're just leaving. It keeps saying I don't have it anymore. That's really annoying me. <clears throat> Take on the bowmen. Okay, then now the, now the army is wavering. Those dog are they dogs leaving or are they just running around? I think they're just running around. Spears ready. Keeps trying to capture the gate and then it fails. Right, you finally have it. Good. Charge out. Through the gate. Move. Oh, don't drop oil on my own men. Silly sod. Ready for battle. There we go. They broke. Okay, well, my swordsman got decimated, but we'll have a look at the damage in the next screen. Excellent work. Let's look at the damage of the garrison. Ooh, basically all the swordsmen are dead. They are all dead. They hardly got any kills. They basically got slaughtered themselves. 
Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, but never mind. Okay, so uh, we're going to execute them. Nordic pirates destroyed. Research complete for the siege tower. We lost some attrition. Right, Lester, give me some food. Try and decide whether to maybe send Everard with the army. Plus 5% upkeep cost for non mercenary units. So he would actually increase my upkeep cost. Ouch. But then that's kind of negated by the agent, which does minus 3, I think. Minus 3. So it would just be an increase of 2, and I need to get Everard to start, you know, gaining some command so maybe I will take the risk ready for battle ready for orders Commander, take the army choose the upkeep there your orders that is impossible and then my king can I don't know. I suppose he can just go around touring the country and just keeping public order under control. Yes. Let's move you up near New York. Everard, you're going to be sailing over to France. Although we aren't at war with them anymore. Because of the crusade, obviously. But we do want to go over to France at some point. Okay. Um. I don't know what to research now. There's a bit of economy. Plus 10, plus 16, plus 8. Okay. Uh, build the temporary barracks. End the turn. We'll see what happens. And then we're going to have to bring today's video to a close. Because I think we're going to be going on for quite a while. The Duchy of Normandy has declared war on us. Oh, okay. In which case, France. I'm not going for you. I'm going for Normandy. Clear Normandy out. We're sending the Prince of Scotland to defeat the Duchy of Normandy. Actually, Normandy was one of the places I said about taking over first on mainland Europe. Right. Spy, you're redeploying near Rouen. Your orders. As you command, I go. Oh, Brittany's raiding them. I feel like Normandy is not exactly in the strongest of positions right now. I mean, I probably should have replenished my army a little bit more, but oh well. I don't want to waste too much time. 10, 12, and 3. Okay, good. So maybe... So if I go over here... If I cross into Wales, you drop to 1 and you increase to 12. You have less public order than... Eastern England, so I'll leave you there for the for a turn. And that is where we're going to bring today's video to a close. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I will see you all next time for the invasion of Normandy.